And here we can see that the Android version is 2.3.6 and the baseband version 1727UCL83. Okay, so keep that in mind because that's going to be upgraded. So before we can do that, we first of all need to download this uh, nifty application by Samsung. It's uh, it's actually on their site, so it's n.samsung.com and the URL I will list on the video. So go to that and the first thing we need to do is download the uh, KS software. So click on download Samsung KS and then once you're on the next page you will uh, be able to download if you have a Windows or Mac. So in this case it's uh, Windows so I'm going to download the Windows version and then new folder and we go into Oops. Samsung KS and then download that. So that's the 19 megabyte file. So fortunately my internet speed is fairly high so we should be done in a few seconds. Okay. Done. So now let's install the app. Okay. So, okay, it's asking me it will do an upgrade. I, apparently, I have an older version of KS in there, but in your case, it could be uh, just a fresh install. Okay, it's so asking me to uninstall the uh, previous version for to install the new version. But if you have a fresh install, you you won't get these windows. Not very informative. It does not telling you. What it's doing is just a bar, status bar. Okay, so evaluating launch conditions. It's the screen I have right now. So I would wait for the for it to you know until don't press cancel or anything. Wait for it to finish. Because it may be momentarily not doing much, so it doesn't mean it's, you know, it's finished. Okay, so it seems like it did uninstall my previous version and now it's doing a full install. Now it's doing the installing the device drivers. It's saying this may take several minutes. I may very well pass forward this section so so you won't get completely bored by this video
Okay, installation complete. Uh, KS has been uh, installed on your computer. Create shortcut, run Samsung KS. Okay, so I won't run it at the moment. So I'll just go to create shortcut. But let's continue to see what the next set of instructions are for Samsung. So here on the page that I showed you where you download the download link was there it actually if you continue down on this page you will it will tell you what uh, okay it will tell you give you specific instructions on how to do an upgrade but uh, let's try and run this uh, program we just installed and let's go here, Samsung Kiss, there it is, let's try and run that, see what happens, because the page actually said it would, you would re ask for an upgrade to a newer version, but I don't see why, if they've yeah okay so yeah so it was actually downloading from the server itself so I didn't think it would need another upgrade so this is the screen you have let's open up uh, the KS application if you go to all programs go into Samsung KS and click on KS So you should uh, get a screen like this uh, with um, the window open and in the next section we will go and see how to configure this, hook this up with the Samsung uh, Galaxy S2 and do an upgrade to the ICS. As you know this is the, the Samsung method of upgrading the ICS. For some reason AT&T doesn't get its upgrades uh, at all on this phone, so this is the only method, known method that allows you to do this. So.